The impression, the general impression as we came across the country to these hearings was that there was a small minority within Hollywood fighting communism and fascism. This is, exa this is exactly the reverse of the true picture. There is a small minority in Hollywood who might be interested in fascism or communism. And I don't think that we, who have worked in this industry for a period of almost 20 years, some of us, have any right to testify before this committee without saying that we are proud to be members of this industry. I don't like that word communist propaganda because uh, I have seen no such thing as communist propaganda such as waving the hammer and sickle or uh, in, 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 uh, in motion pictures. I have seen things that I thought were against what I consider good Americanism in my feeling I, and I, I have seen it in, uh, I've seen pictures I thought shouldn't have been made, it shouldn't have been made, let me put it that way. What do you think could be done to correct that? I think a great deal already has been done. The eternal vigilance of the Motion Picture Alliance for the preservation of American ideals by its vigilance has prevented an enormous amount of sly, subtle, un-American, class struggle propaganda going into pictures. I'm a witch hunter if the witch is a communist. I'm a red bear, make no, no bones about it whatsoever. I'd like to see them all in, in Russia. I think a taste of Russia would cure many of them. Unfortunately, the people in Europe who have not faced the Russians do not realize the menace. That's one of the great troubles in France. They are faced with French communists and not Russians. All of those nations, Romania, Bulgaria, Hungary, Austria, the Russian zone in Germany that have had to come in contact with the Russian army, realize what a menace this is. No evidence has been produced at these hearings that the pictures contain any subversive propaganda. And the truth is, there is no un-American propaganda on our screen. There never will be. And we will never use the right of free speech as a cloak to do any such thing. We rely on the American people themselves to judge the pictures. And we will fight to continue a free screen in America.